Hello. How is everyone? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Very well, teacher. Very well, good. Tell me, what happened today? Well, I don't know. Uh, today I went to my grandparents. So I, I was there. Where do your grandparents live, uh, Cesar? Uh, in Aguachapan. Uh, they live in Aguachapan. Ah, okay. And Cesar, where do you live? El Chuapa. I live in Chalchopa. And to visit your grandparents is like one hour? Mm, no, two, two hours. Two hours? Oof. Mm -hmm. A little far. Yes, it is, it is near to Las Chinamas. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay. Yes, I know Las Chinamas. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's far and in in the in the way is is not i don't know and this the street is, is not uh, pavimentada no sé does anybody know pavimentada yeah i don't know you say pavet okay it's not pavet in the street Good. So. only the pronunciation paved paved okay paved mm -hmm. okay the street is not paved so uh, for that is more time so uh, okay okay yeah. okay good Ana Garcia tell me about your day hi teacher good night everybody mm -hmm. um I working all day at 6 a.m at 2 p.m and and then I go to the supermarket and then I stayed at home. Okay. And what supermarket did you go to? Um, I went to Super Selecto Santa Rosa Santa Tecla. Hey, you live in Santa Tecla? Yes, teacher. I live in Santa Tecla. Um, and you? I live in Santa Tecla. Really? Yes. Uh, who, where in Santa Tecla? Do you know Parque San Martin? Yes. Okay. In there? Ah, uh, really? Yes, in I, one, I, one block. I live, ah, uh, really? Yes. I live, I live in Colonia Quesaltepec. Ah, before, before I used to live in Colonia Quesaltepec. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Hey, we are neighbors. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> Ana Garcia. El Carmen. Ana, Ana, Ana. Yes. <laughs> Good. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start like with Ana and with Cesar. We're going to practice speaking about our day. The important is, for example, like I asked with Ana, continue the conversation. To continue the conversation, you need to ask follow up questions okay so follow-up questions for example oh i work i live ah I, I say where do you live ah do you, this is the idea follow-up is continue the conversation if anna says i listen to music my follow-up what music do you like do you, do you listen to spotify do you have a playlist the idea is continue a conversation okay Okay. Okay, teacher. The, the first is today with follow up questions. <laughs> We're ready? Let's go.
expression. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will. Okay, let's take a look. Jose Isaias, summarize Monica. What have, what did you learn about Monica? Uh, well, um, Monica uh, was invited to me to visit Mehapa because she said uh, it's very interesting. Uh, a place uh, where where play with uh, bola de fuego fireballs. Mm -hmm. So when? she uh, today you? play with the fireball today. Uh, no. I don't know. I I, no. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Nice special. Okay. It, um, September. Ah, in September. Okay. I, I don't. Yes, because I don't ask her for the date, uh, a specific date for the fireball. So she she tell she tell me. Uh, uh, oh, she invites me to visit that place. Um, well, uh, she told me uh, she she's from San Salvador, but uh, she has to move to Nehapa five years ago. Okay, good, Jose, good. All right, Monica, tell me about Jose. Jose is uh, playing to the uh, off piano. He's a uh, Jose is uh, good. <laughs> um, he he's live. Uh, Jose is a. Uh, Playing of piano. 
a host, no, no is Jose play the piano. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, his life. What is the sentence? Jose playing the, the piano. Plays. Uh, Jose, Jose plays the piano. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, he he's he he lives in La Palma Chilatina. He he likes or he lives. He he lives in uh, La Palma Chilatina. Okay, he lives in La Palma. Okay. Uh, right. Your mm -hmm. Uh, his his hobbies are uh, the to play uh, the video games video game games um, play the soccer in the uh, piano. Okay, all right, good, Monica. Thank you very much. All right, and Stephanie, tell me about Jose Carlos. Uh, well, uh, we not told a lot teacher, only of our date. Uh -huh. and, and what happened with Jose Carlos? Well, uh, he he asked me uh, that how how was my my day, and then uh, I I replied that my day was very very difficult or uh, how do you say uh, special. <laughs> Ah, very hectic. Hectic. Mm-hmm. I put in the chat. Okay. Hectic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 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 then uh, after talk about of my university. Uh, he he told me uh, how how to how to the the bus for for Apaneca. And he told me that he work in near of the Centro here in San Sonate. Okay. Only, only that. That's good. That's good. Very nice. All right. So we got a good idea. We talked with our partners. The important is to practice so that the fluency improves, so that our fluency improves. In this moment, we're going to review the imperatives. Yesterday, we learned different imperatives. Remember, imperatives were for giving suggestions or instructions. We will use an imperative as... We learned yesterday, for example, that is the verb to, okay? And the verb, okay? Also, we use the imperatives as a nice form. We have some expressions like make sure, uh, be sure, don't forget, remember, and try. These are the ways to give imperatives. To, to be nice. If you are going to use a negative suggestion is before to. So if you want to say no is you say, be sure not to speak. Be sure, make sure not. So if you want to have negative is always before the word to. In this moment with your partners, we're going to go to 2.9 
you are going to read the sentence and select what are they talking about, okay? What is the product that for the instructions? So you read the instruction and then you say, ah, this is an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop, and you select which is the correct way. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. 2.9, remember, 2.9. We will need only a few minutes. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie, can you speak? Ronnie, no? Can you hear me? 
Yes, now yes, Ronnie. Ah, okay. Acabo de venir a trabajar. No problem, Ronnie. Voy llegando. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. We're gonna. How do you say in, in English? I'm, I'm just getting in. I just getting in. Correct. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at some of these. Number one is going to be Cesar. Number two, Ana Garcia. And number three, Karen Flores. Okay, let's start off. Number one. Okay, uh, in the number one, try to keep it close to protect the screen. Is laptop computer. Okay, Ana Garcia. Okay, number two, don't forget to write down your secret code. For me, it's alarm system. Okay. Number three. Number three, remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door, alarm system. Okay. Number four, let's go with uh, Anna Lisette. Try not to help it win or the case my head struck laptop computer. Okay, Anna, only the pronunciation, keys. Uh, keys. And stuck. And stuck. Good. Claudia, number five. Make sure to sit it each time you leave home. Alarm system. Okay. Stephanie, number six. Remember to recharge, recharge the batteries before they die. Is cell phone. Okay. Good. Only the pronunciation. Recharge. Recharge. Good. And Jose Carlos, number seven. Jose Carlos. Cell phone. Go ahead, read the sentence. Oh, be sure, sure to turn, turn it off before bed or a call may wake, wake you up. Uh, cell phone. Okay, good. All right, so some of them are okay. Some of them we have a little mistake. Here we're going to take a look at, okay? So number one, two, oh, we have alarm system, sorry. All of them, oh, excellent. So we have several of them that we can change, right? So for example, the secret code, maybe is the idea is the alarm system and also that laptop or the other ones, okay? Are there any words, any vocabulary you don't know? And then number four, stuck. Ah, so stuck is when you are on the computer, for example, and you have one letter and it's the letter um, P. It's going to go P, 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 P. This is stuck. The, the button does not move. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? No. The six richer. No. Remember Recharge. to what? Recharge. Ah, uh, Richard. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, great. So now we are going to try to develop our reading skills. So we're gonna read for specific information and topics. 
here in 2.11. Let's read, okay? Uh, let's see it. One, oh, the class is small. I don't know what happened to the others. Let's see, okay. Okay, Jose Carlos, the introduction. Monica, this paragraph. Claudia, the number three. Stephanie, paragraph number four. Jose Isaias, this paragraph number five. Jose Cesar is paragraph number six. And Ronnie, paragraph number seven. Okay, let's begin reading. Okay, people used to know more or less how their children uh, will live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Okay, good, Jose Carlos. Repeat. Children. Children. Lives. Lives. Good job. Number two. Monica. Uh, your daydreaming the begin begin the the wheel of your car but that's okay you have in you know, an automatic period and while is high pitch computers your car knows how to get you some safely okay monica repeat behind Behind pilot, pilot, high tech, high tech, or safely, Sa safely, 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 no, safe, safe. Lee. Uh, safely. Good, Monica. All right, number three. Okay. Your help for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer and or and their being delivery you pay for them before they arrive. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. Very good, Claudia. Only one pronunciation, deducted. De deducting. D de deducted. Deducting. Good, good, Claudia. Okay. All right, number four. Okay, what's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. Very good. Good job, Stephanie. Good. Number five. Okay. Um, after lunch, you go down to the hall to your hub office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Okay. Very good. Number six. Yeah, uh, your information screen says that you received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. 
your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Good. All right. And the last one, number seven. You finish. <clears throat> you finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. Okay, very good. So as you can see, we have a lot of different words, vocabularies about the future and what's going to happen in the future. In this moment with your partners, we are going to go here on the exercise and complete. This is 2.11 and you're going to complete with true or false. True is yes and false is no. But first, let's look. Is there any vocabulary, any words you don't know? High tech. High tech. High tech means very sophisticated. Sophisticated with good technology. A lot of technology. This is high tech. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other words? Safely. Please repeat. Safely. 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 Safely means no danger. The house is good, no problems. Okay. It's almost uh, safe. Like safe. Mm -hmm. It's safe. It's um, safe. It's safe. Okay. Any other words? Teacher, they say you'll never have to come commute to commute. work anymore. Yeah, commute. Good. The pronunciation, Ronnie, is commute. Commute. And Good. commute means transport. Ah, okay. okay. You never have to transport from the house to the job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The next word is appear. Appear. Appears. So appears. Okay. On, on the screen, they say. Yes. Yes, yes. Appear is like on the phone. You see the message. The message appears on the phone. Okay. Like the like the notifications. Okay, so now with your partner, now that we have the vocabulary, with your partner, you're going to answer numbers one through eight. Remember, one through eight, exercise 
Okay, got it. What's number one? Uh, sure. Okay. You per sorry, number one, you need to pay attention while driving. Is the ask where is true? Good pronunciation while. While. While, mm -hmm. while is teacher? In the moment you are doing the action. Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Ana Garcia, number two. Okay, number two. You pay for your groceries when they arrive? False. Okay, good. Thank you. Cesar, number three. Uh, it's false. Read the sentence. Uh, you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. It's no, no. false. Number no. three. Ah, number three. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. People don't use cash anymore. It's true. Okay, good. Jose Isaias, number four. Okay, let me see. You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. It's false. Okay. Monica, number five. Uh, to go to the office every day, it's a uh, uh, false. Okay. Good. Claudia, number six. Um, when you get a number message, ah, you and your co worker have to speak the same language, is it's false. Okay. Jose Carlos, number seven. Would you get a mess, mess, message? Uh, you can see the singer's face. Um, you can see the face. It's a, a false. Okay. And Stephanie, number eight. Is false. Read the sentence, Stephanie. Um, you had to go to a video store to rent movies. Okay. Pretty good. We can see that we have, let's start off. Number one is not correct, is not true. Number one is? Oh. False. Good. Number two is correct. Number three is correct. Four and five are correct. Number six is correct. Number seven, no. When you get a message, you can see the sender's face. It's true. Okay. So it's okay. Only two mistakes is good job. Only two mistakes is good. Any questions? Teacher, uh, in the seven, uh, what thing uh, sender's face? Ah, okay. So, for example, if I call you, if I call you, I am the sender. You are the receiver. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So... Let's look again one more time at the reading. Here we have our reading and we're talking about the future. Okay. Now with your partners, you're going to discuss and be creative like the examples. Like the examples here. How do you imagine is the future in 50 years? No 15. In 50 years. How do you imagine? And you are going to speak 
like the example from the reading. Okay. So uh, you're going to explain what is going to be different in the future in 50 years. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Any vocabulary, any words? No? No, teacher. Okay. No. All right. Perfect. If no questions, let's go. The future.
Okay. Let's listen to some of your ideas for the future in 50 years. Who is the first volunteer? No volunteer. Engineer. Okay. It's it. Yes, Ronnie. In 50 years, I don't know. About, maybe I no more work. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I say I go to maybe another country traveling. Yeah. Okay. And um, descansar, guys. How do you say descansar, guys? Take a rest. Quick rest. rest. Uh, Only uh, rest. Mm -hmm. Only rest. rest. Only rest mm -hmm. for every day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no more work <laughs> because I say pensioner, pensioner, retired. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Someone else. How do you imagine the world in fifty years? Monica, how do you imagine the world in 50 years? Uh, uh, the, I think uh, the, um, the continent will be a uh, only nation, one, one nation and no more use the money or cash effect money cash, or cash yeah. only money electronic okay electronic. okay good one one more another one more person how do you imagine the future In the future, the train uh, that the president promised. In the future? <laughs> One more time, Anna. <laughs> wow. In the it's future, the train that the president promised will be ready. The future, the president from train. Yeah. The president promised train for the country in 50 years is ready. Fred. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, the train, the train. <laughs> I think maybe. Maybe, okay. maybe. maybe. But the, uh, sorry, teacher, the, the president, pro, I promised the train for five years. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't know who is going to be. Uh -huh. the yeah, maybe you don't oh. know. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I for Monday. Remember, we finished. We completed unit one and unit two. Monday we are going to begin unit three. Next week we have unit three and the exam. So next week, unit three and the exam. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you for coming. They practice, practice, complete the platform, unit one, unit two. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 bye.